surface fillet now has a different enhanced interaction when selecting the surfaces that need a fillet created. Surface fillet can be found in the palette under the surface tab. In the past, as the first and second selections were being made, indicator arrows would appear after each selection. This is no longer the case. Choices for fillet types are now radius and cord. Radius means the fillet will be built to a radius value. Cord is the chordal distance of the fillet and is like the old surface fillet behavior. For the first set of selections, I'm going to pick the red surfaces. An Accept button will appear in the lower right hand corner of the modeling window. Click Accept. Simply make the second set of selections to be filleted and again hit Accept. In this case, I am grabbing the blue surfaces. Once the two valid surface sets are selected, the arrows appear and the tool functions as it did in past releases. At this point, the choice is made as to what side of the surface the fillet will be built for each surface involved. Also notice that no matter where I move the model on the screen, the arrows stay in a visible area. This way, they are always available to use. After making the necessary adjustments to the fillet in the option box, click Build. The fillet did not trim out all of the surfaces, so I am going to extend the start and end so it can complete the operation. Let's take this same example and make a variable fillet. Check the variable fillet option. Once the fillet is selected, the blue indicator line appears around the fillet. Replaced is the blue variable surface fillet indicator circle for the new indicator that more accurately gives visual feedback of what the surface fillet will be. I can slide the indicator around the fillet using my middle mouse button. To place another variable fillet on the blue line, simply middle mouse button on the line to add an additional fillet. 